Hey, what's up? This is Eric Wong from EricWongMMA.com and in this video I'm going to show you the four key stretches that every mixed martial arts fighter must be doing. And this is because of the sport of mixed martial arts, the demands that it places on the certain muscles they must be stretched, otherwise it's going to result in injury and lost performance. So, the first stretch that you want to do as a fighter is the hip flexor stretch, specifically targeting the psoas muscle. Now, this stretch is targeting the muscle right in here. And there's a couple of keys for this stretch that you want to make sure that you do, otherwise you're not going to get the right muscle. So the first thing that you do is get in this position here, the 90 degree position, you create the box with your legs, get up tall, and you want to tuck your tail so you rotate your pelvis under. It's called a posterior pelvic tilt. I just think of it as if you had a tail, tuck it between your legs. So you tuck your tail, pull in with your abs, tuck the tail under. That puts a little bit of a stretch on the psoas already. Then you push the hips forward, you get a little more stretch there. Most people can start to feel it pretty good there. Finally, to increase the stretch the most, you reach up with the same side arm and over, stretching that muscle to the fullest. Now, this muscle needs to be stretched because whenever you're doing groundwork and you're in the guard, these muscles are, are on a lot and they get shortened and tightened up. As well, they get a lot stronger with a lot of kicks if you're throwing a lot of kicks. So whenever a muscle is very strong and the opposite muscle is weak, it's going to tighten up. So that's why we've got to keep the length through the hip flexors. Next stretch you want to do is for the hamstrings. Now, most guys generally are really tight in the hamstrings. And this is a problem when, especially if you're, you're on your back, you're in the guard, and somebody stacks your leg up, that's going to pull your back up, round your back out, and could, you, could put you at risk of a low back injury. So we want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So my favorite hamstring stretch is on a wall or on a door frame. You stick one leg through the door frame, the other leg up straight. Keep the knee straight and keep the back. Keep a little bit of an arch in your low back the whole time. So the more flexible you get, you'll, you want to hold this stretch for about a minute. The more flexible you get, the closer you're going to be able to get to the wall. Hip flexor stretch, hold it for about 30 seconds per side. Hamstring stretch, I like to hold for about a minute. Next stretch up is for the chest, the pec minor. Now these muscles tighten up with a lot of boxing. So, I like to use a Swiss ball for this stretch. Now, you want to keep your elbow on the top of the ball, the apex of the ball. Arm is about 90 degrees, just above 90 degrees is the shoulder there. So if I show you the side view, you're not straight out to the side, but up a little bit. That's going to target the pec minor nicely. Then just lower your body down, keep your shoulders square to the ground, and drop down. Try to get a nice pull in through the pec minor muscle, which is in through here. That's going to tighten up and round the shoulders out. And if you're doing some strength training, that's going to, that could lead to impingement of the nerves in the shoulder. Now the last stretch I like to do is again, because of the sport of mixed martial arts, your legs are generally out wide. Your stance is out wide. If you're on your back, you're out wide. If you're on the mount, your knees are out wide, externally rotated. The last stretch is an internal rotation stretch for the hips. Now this might target the muscles, but it also might hip, hit the hip joint itself, the joint capsule. A lot of times some of the structures get tight and adhes. There's adhesions in the joint capsule itself, so we want to loosen that up. All you have to do for this one I like to lay over a foam roller. I actually got this, this exercise, the stretch from Eric Cressy, who's a really well-known strength and performance coach. But what you want to do is lay over the foam roller, bring your feet out wide, bring your knees together, and try to get rotation of your thigh bones, the femur, in. So that's internal rotation of the hip. You're trying to restore that movement. And for this stretch, I like to hold for about a minute. So there you have the four key stretches that every mixed martial arts fighter must be doing to prevent injury and maximize performance.